Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learner's Planet. Uh, friends, this is our third session for trigonometric functions. In the previous session, uh, we discussed the problems based on uh, finding out the values of trigonometric ratios. In this session, we'll establish some relationship, we'll discuss some formulae. So let's begin the session and just be ready with your paper and pen. Okay? Uh, see friends, there are so many formulae in this chapter, right? Trigonometric ratio of compound angles, uh, compounded angles in fact. You can see so many formulae over here. We'll take them one by one and we'll establish them. Okay, so you also try uh, with me. I take the, these two. Okay, and with these two relationships, I'll establish all others. Okay, so we begin with these two. Though we have already discussed these two formulae, still we just go once, once again. Sin A plus B is equal to sin A cos B plus cos A sin B. Now I am writing down them separately. Sin A minus B is equal to sin A cos B minus cos A sin B. Right. Similarly, cos A plus B is equal to cos A cos B minus, if it is plus over here, it will be minus over here. Then cos, I am sorry, sin A sin B. Similarly, cos A minus B is equal to cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. Now using these four relationships will derive so many others, right? First of all, I try to find out tan A plus B. Now what's tan A plus B? That is sin A plus B over cos A plus B, right? Now what is sin A plus B? This is uh, sin A cos B plus cos A sin B and what is cos A plus B? That is cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. So I put up the value of sin A plus B and cos A plus B over here, right? So that is sin A cos B plus cos A sin B upon cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. Right now, what we are going to do? We'll divide the numerator and denominator by cos A cos B. Right? We'll derive. Uh, we will divide numerator as well as denominator by cos A cos B. Okay. So what would happen? Sin A cos B upon cos A cos B plus cos A sin B upon cos A cos B by cos A cos B by cos A cos B that will be 1 minus sin A sin B upon cos A cos B. Right? Now it's very simple. Cos B cos B cancelled. Cos A cos A is cancelled. Sin A by cos A that is 10A. Here, sin B by cos B, 10B upon 1 minus sin A by cos A, 10A and sin B by cos B, 10B. So, that is 10A, 10B, right? So, that is the formula for 10A plus B. Do not use distributive property over here. 10 is not getting multiplied with A plus B. This is a function, right? So 10 A plus B will be equal to 10 A plus 10 B upon 1 minus 10 A, 10 B. Good number of students, they just write 10 A plus uh, uh, 10 B, right? So that's wrong. You don't have to use distributive property over here, right? It's a trigonometric function. So 10 A plus B is this. And similarly, you can calculate, you can find out 10 A minus B. See, if it is 10 A minus B, then in that case, here there will be minus, right? 10A minus 10B upon 1 plus 10A, 10B, right? That's the only difference, right? In case of plus, over here we are having plus and in case of minus, in the numerator there will be minus and in the denominator there will be plus, right? That's the only difference. So, and thus, 
uh, it can be also derived in the same manner. Okay, so these two we have done. Apart from that, uh, we can uh, derive the cot A plus B and cot A minus B, right? So in case of cot A plus B, we'll be having uh, cos A plus B in the numerator and sin A plus B in the denominator. In similar manner, we have to put up the relationship over here. Then in that case, since we want the convert the formula or the numerator in cot A and cot B, what we'll do? will divide the numerator and denominator by sin a sin b. In this case we are dividing numerator and denominator by cos a cos b. In case of cot we'll divide numerator and denominator by uh, sin a sin b. Right? So you'll be getting the relationship of cot a plus b and cot a minus b in the same manner. Right? So that you can do on your own. So we derive the formula tan a plus b, tan a minus b, cot a plus b and cot a minus b. Right? Now other in the list, we have sine 2a, cos 2a, and tan 2a, right? Now sine 2a, what, how, how, how we can do this? Say so instead of b, you just take a over here, right? Sine a plus b, so I take sine a plus a, right? So instead of b over here, it will be a only, sine a, cos a, plus cos a, sine a right so that is sine 2a is equal to sine a cos a plus cos a sine a so precisely it is 2 sine a cos a so sine 2a is 2 sine a cos a and that's really an important formula okay so that's pretty simple similarly you can calculate cos 2a that is cos a plus a so here cos a cos a minus sine a sine a so precisely it is cos square a minus sin square a, right? And it can be written in other manner also. Uh, you just convert sin square a into cos square a. So it is cos square a minus sin square a can be written as 1 minus cos square a. Okay? So it is cos square a minus 1 plus cos square a. So that is 2 cos square a minus 1 right so cos 2a is 2 cos square a minus 1 apart from that if you write cos square a over here as 1, 1 minus sin square a you will be getting 1 minus 2 sin square a so cos 2a we have three relations cos square a minus sin square a 2 cos square a minus 1 and 1 minus 2 sin square a and we have this relation for sin 2a so this is how you can calculate sin 2a and cos 2a and the same way you can calculate tan 2a right we have derived the formula for tan a plus b so over here if you put instead of b if you put a you'll be getting 2 tan a upon 1 so that's the formula for tan 2a similarly you can derive the formula for cot 2a generally sin 2a cos 2a and tan 2a these are very common okay so you must be knowing uh, the relationship now similarly you can calculate sin 3a and cos 3a, right? I just do one for you. Sin 3a is sin a plus 2a, right? So that is sin a cos 2a plus cos a sin 2a. Now you know cos 2a, so I just put the value of cos 2a over here. Since this is sin 3a, what I do is I just put the value of cos 2a in terms of sin uh, a, right? So cos 2a is 1 minus 2 sin square a. Similarly, it is cos a and uh, sin 2a is 2 sin a cos a. Okay, so that is sin a minus 2 sin cube a plus 2 sin a a cos square a so cos square a again it can be written as 1 minus sin square a okay so that is sin a minus 2 sin cube a plus 2 sin a minus 2 sin cube a right so it is 3 sin a minus 4 sin cube a 
right? So that is sin 3a. Similarly, you can calculate cos 3a, right? I'm not going to do it. You just can uh, do it on your own. So you learn to derive and you have to remember the final result also. Now, an important thing over here, an important concept over here. See, we learned sin 2a. That's 2 sin a cos a, right? Over here, it is 2a, then it is a, a over here. Similarly, if it is sin 4a, it will be 2 sin 2a cos 2a, right? If it is 4 over here, it will be 2 over here. Similarly, if it is sin 8a, it will be 2 sin 4a cos 4a. Similarly, if it is sin a, then it will be sin a by 2 cos a by 2. Right? So, this you need to know. Okay? Whatever is there over here, it is half of this. Okay, 4a, 2a, 2a, 8a, 4a, 4a, a, then a by 2, a by 2. Similarly, the other value of sin 3a can be written as 2 sin 3a by 2 cos 3a by 2. Right, the same applies for cos also. Cos 2a is cos square a minus sin square a. So, cos 8a will be cos square 2a minus sin square 2a. Similarly, cos a is equal to cos square a by 2 minus sin square a by 2, right? So, that you must be knowing. Okay, very simple. Cos 8a will be cos square 4a minus sin square 4a. Cos 4a will be cos square 2a minus sin square 2a. Cos a will be cos square a by 2 minus sin square a by 2. If it is 2a over here, it is a over here, it is a, then it is a by 2. If it is 8a, then it will be 4a, 4a. If it is 6a, then it will be 3a, 3a, right? The same way. Now, next. See, we have this and this, right? If we add both of them, what will happen? Sin a plus b plus sin a minus b. Now, on the right hand side, what will happen? Sin A cos B plus cos A sin B plus sin A cos B minus cos A sin B. So, these two will be cancelled. So, what you are getting? Sin A plus B plus sin A minus B is equal to 2 sin A cos B. Right? Similarly, sin A plus B minus sin A minus B. Right? That means you are deducting this from this. So, in that case, what would happen? This will be cancelled and you will be getting 2 cos A sin B, right? So, it is 2 cos A sin B. Similarly, if you add these two, so you will be getting cos A plus B plus cos A minus B. Now, if you add, you will be able to get 2 cos A cos B because these two will be cancelled. So, it is 2 cos A cos B, right? Similarly, cos A plus B minus cos A minus B. So, if you deduct this from this, see cos A cos B will be cancelled, but here you are have, having a negative sign, right? So, it is minus sin A sin B minus sin A sin B. So, it is minus 2 sin A sin B, right? So, these four more relations you are getting. Okay? And these are really important. Now, what we can do over here, I assume uh, A plus B is equal to C and A minus B is equal to D. That means A is equal to C plus D by 2 and B is equal to C minus D by 2. Right? So, value of A, B, C and D I put over here in these formulae. Right? Suppose I put the value of A, B, C, D over here. So, A plus B is actually what? C. So, I write sin C plus sin D. Okay? And here I am getting uh, A plus B is C and A minus B is D. 
2 sin a cos b right so it is 2 sin a instead of a i'll write c plus d by 2 and instead of b i'll write c minus d by 2 so it is cos c minus d by 2 so that is very important formula right sin c plus d is equal to 2 sin c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2 similarly if you write sin c minus sin d then you'll be writing 2 cos this is uh, sin c minus sin d right so that is 2 cos uh, c plus d by 2 and sin c minus d by 2 so that's the next relation similarly over here cos a plus b so that is cos c plus cos d is equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2 right similarly cos c minus cos d is equal to minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 sin c minus d by 2 right so four more relations you are getting and you can do uh, all of them on your own and all of them are really important okay so we discussed so many relations you just write all of them at least one or two times so you'll be able to uh, remember them uh, I just do one more for you suppose I have to find out sin a plus b plus c now I'm uh, taking the third angle right so how uh, what I can do is I just treat it as a one and it is the second one right so it is sin a plus b cos c plus cos a plus b sin c now I know the value of sin a plus b that is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b then the entire expression is multiplied by cos c plus cos a plus cos uh, cos a plus b I know that is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b then you multiply it by sin c right just open up the bracket and uh, arrange the terms that's it okay so most of the relations most of the formulae we have discussed in this session right in the next session we are going to discuss problems based on trigonometric functions so do revise this session and the previous ones i'll see you in the next session once again bye bye